Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, today we're diving into something I'm super excited about. Fedora 42. It just dropped on April 16th, 2025 and it brings a bunch of sweet upgrades. So, let's jump right into the six things I like about this release. So first up, Anaconda, the Fedora installer, has finally gone Wayland only. That means no more X11 installer sessions. Instead, you get better keyboard control, GPT as the default partition table on all architectures and get this, RDP support replacing VNC and there's a slick new web UI for guided partitioning. It's like having a friendly wizard ask you what kind of install you want, single boot, dual boot, you name it. Plus there's a reinstall Fedora option if something goes sideways. Super handy, right? Number two, KDE Plasma isn't just a spin anymore, it's a full-blown edition. Fedora 42 ships with Plasma 6.3.4, KDE Framework 6.12.0, and the latest KDE apps. If you're coming from Windows 10 and want to make the switch before October 14th, 2025, that end of support date, you'll love this. It's familiar, polished, and honestly looks gorgeous. Three, the cosmic spin, yay. Cosmic is System 76's Rust-based desktop environment, super snappy. You get tiling and stacking window management per workspace, the Cosmic app suite, and tons of customization. It's not as polished as Workstation yet, but if you love tinkering and experimenting, you're gonna have a blast. Coming in at four, desktop environments got big upgrades across the board. LXQT Spin now has LXQT 2.10, plus a new LXQT Wayland Session component. So you can choose from seven Wayland Sessions, Labbody Use, KDUN, Wayfire, Heaperland, Sway, River, or Neri. Workstation jumped to GNOME 48. Think well-being features, Wayland Color Management, HDR support, Nautilus 48, and better NVIDIA support. XFCE Spin bumped to XFCE 4.20 with a refined panel, power management tweaks, experimental Wayland, and an upgraded Thunar 5. DNF 5 is smarter now. It auto-removes expired or obsolete GPG keys when you install or upgrade packages. And there's a new RPM copy on write feature, leveraging BTRFS's reflink to cut down IO and CPU overhead on decompression. It's not on by default yet, but it's a sweet optimization waiting for you to try. Last but not least, kernel 6.14. This thing brings support for AMD Ryzen AI NPU 6, RDNA 4 graphics, ultra high bitrate display port for Intel Panther Lake and boatloads of storage improvement. Bottom line, Fedora 42 feels faster, smoother and more future proof. All right, that's my roundup. Six things I love about Fedora 42. Let me know in the comments which feature you're most hyped for. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you don't miss future Linux deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.